one exhibition, five galleries, two professional photographers, two toy cameras, and 30 minutes on the clock. It's not doing well. <laughs> it's so difficult to do this challenge. Where's my model? Who has the best photo? The Thomia. It's anybody's game. Who will conquer all odds and prove themselves to be the ultimate photographer champion? The smart local I'm John and I'm Hui and today we're here at Art Science Museum in Marina Bay Sands to check out 10 new artworks in Singapore's largest digital art exhibition. Have you been to Future World? No, I have not. So today we're going to check out Future World where art meets science. Let's go. Let's go. Our producers have challenged us photographers to capture the amazing blend of the interactive and digital artworks in this museum using only a toy camera. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to get a random toy camera, a random model, and as if shooting a duck is not high enough, right? They're going to give us a time limit of 30 minutes. I don't know, man. Let's see your camera. <laughs> oh my god, why is it fake? <laughs> your camera? This is our camera. Is it even functional? I mean, I'm glad that it says KD zoom, so I'm guessing we can zoom with it. High-end display, LCD, LED, um, <laughs> doesn't matter. 2 megapixels. I think we got equal chance to win this challenge. But in the end, I hope I will win. I just hope that uh, I can match up to him, but given the low light conditions being the great equalizer that it is, it's anybody's game, man. It's anybody's game. The challenge is tougher than I thought it would be. Really down to taking shots, you know, and then not thinking so much about the technical aspects of things. Let's go to the Paddy Fuse. Okay. Oh my god, this guy got to go. <laughs> nice He's not doing shot. well. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Hey. So I think the timing thing was a little bit difficult and scary for me. So when we were in the transcending boundaries, uh, checking out all the artworks and trying to get the shots and the crowd was not cooperating, right? It took me half the time that I need. So means I, I, I used up 15 minutes just in there, you know? And it was really worrying because after that we had to like rush, 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 get one or two shots here and there. And this is by far, right, the brightest that this one has been. So I hope we don't miss it. Okay, how about not like, uh, look dead now? <laughs> <laughs> My favourite artwork over there must be the transcending boundaries. It's very interactive when you know you step into the scene as well. And I think I got a pretty good shot over there. Pretend that you're cold. Oh. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> Ew. There's a kid behind you. <laughs> okay, turn to me, turn to me, a little bit, yeah. So we're gonna start using some of the props. Um, I'm getting her to put on the sunglasses, we'll see what works. You know what? If all else fails, I'm just gonna use the CD cover. <laughs> Let's move. <laughs> Hey Zane, yeah. can I look at the mirror? Maybe we can do something cool with it. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, so just put it right at your face. Huh? And then, but then we see the reflection itself. Wow, oh my god, finally light. In Sanctuary, I, I thought that that was the most challenging room for me. It's kind of an isolated space. It, it felt like a little bit like a like a sensory deprivation kind of thing, but at the same time, you got to enjoy the moving uh, displays. And I really like that room. You 
know Chinese? Uh, it, it came here. <laughs> I just hope that Zen will click on the right word that will give me the right effect. Because <laughs> we have no clue about Chinese. Oh, hey, that's so nice! <laughs> I have an idea, but this will require sick timing. Oh, this is a test of my Chinese. No, oh, there's a lot of people. Ah, oh, damn, there's just too many people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's get this one. Then, yeah. So just. Wow. So when we were at Crystal Universe, which was I think the most aesthetically pleasing, trying to uh, work with the crowd, work with the timing, and like the lights change every single time. And I got a really nice shot that I wanted to shoot off Sam, but Hui, uh, I think in, in, uh, for good fun, he stuck his head into my frame. Hey. We've missed the shot. Luckily, I, I managed to get one frame with like his hand not in it. Yeah, which was which which really like kind of irked me a little. This guy wants to play dirty. <laughs> Your time is up. Damn. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> Are they not out yet? Wow, say they already here. <laughs> See, I tell you, no need to take already just now. Still want to go and Just take like a nice photo, right? Okay, so we're back in the studio. And before we unveil our photos, let me introduce a very special church who will help us decide who's the ultimate winner for this challenge. No other than our creative colleague, Peps. Peps. She also takes photos. She also on the gram. She also got a lot of Instagram followers. Yeah, yeah. more followers, that's why, yeah. that's why she's more valuable than us. May the best man win. I hope I had fun. Any hey, disclaimer, I still love your work. Your work really. Okay, sure. Like, sure. What oh, you love more no, right? Hey, stop! Whoa. Actually, A, uh, you can really see the grandness of the space. But, right, in terms of overall photos, I think B did it better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, both photos are nice, eh! The use of space, right, can tell that you are being very creative in terms of where you put the subject. Overall artistic impression. Okay, I give. B. This is the most finicky judge. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, I don't dare to look at any of them. Man. No breaking. Oh I think you're making me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I came in the room nervous, you make me even more yeah, nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. In terms of space, I give it to A because like it really showed how it looks like, how big it is as compared to a normal human being there. But then for B, it focused more on the details, the artwork. Yeah. Artistic impression, I give B. Overall, I give A. A really incorporated the whole space thing well because it sketched people and animals and she's sketching. It makes more sense. For B, right, it doesn't really tell me anything about the exhibit. A represented this exhibit better. Mm. Okay, the artistic direction for this, right, on point. Whoever shot this made Zin um, interact with the background and with the artwork. But this is a big screen with Chinese words falling down and you have to touch to activate them. <laughs> the way you touch a uh, uh, nail show like visual of yeah. the meaning of the word. Yeah. With the explanation, I, I can understand why A did it that way. Uh, I prefer B. I like how B creatively used the, the disc. But I think in terms of showing how Crystal universe is like using human. It's a better gauge on how the size is actually is in terms of uh, representing the artwork. A did it better. Okay, so who is who? I'm Team A. I'm Team B. So we tabulated, you know, the scores and everything. The winner is Team B. <laughs> Good job, my friend. Good job, my friend. Yeah. It was just by one point. Okay? You should not be thinking that your gear is restricting you. Always explore and always aim to have fun and uh, let your vision carry you forward even though there are limitations. I think the biggest lesson I've learned is that uh, I'm more aware of the environment that I have to shoot with and I also learned about how sharp Zane's jawline is. Now the contestants have experienced shooting with a challenging toy camera. Let's see what other kinds of magic they can create with their professional cameras.
Thank you for watching another episode of TSL Vlogs and thank you Art Science Museum in Marina Bay Sands for having us today. And if you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe and watch our other videos over there. <laughs> Bye.